Hey guys. All right guys, so it's that time again. I am going to shop my base basket and um, pick some new products. I was so ready to get rid of some of these pro um, products. And to be honest, there were some things in here that I didn't even use. Like I was just so ready to use some other things. So, um, and I'm gonna just tell you why I didn't like this base basket. So I realized that this Born This Way concealer, um, it's a good concealer. It's a good concealer. Um, it's a good concealer. I kind of like it, but I'm kind of over it. I think because I have so many concealers now that this is not, you know, one of my favorites, but I still will wear it. I just really wasn't feeling it this week. So, okay, I'm going to put that back. And then the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, concealer. I really did love this one a lot. Like, I would literally leave this in if I could. That's this one right here. If you don't use much, it won't crease as, you know, really bad. I'm a firm believer that, you know, all concealers will crease after a period of time. It's just a matter of how long that time is. But this wore really, really pretty under my eyes. And I do have some fine lines and wrinkles under there. So, but it did wear really nice. I would definitely leave this in, but I wanna try some, some newer things. So that was that. And then, um, to be honest, I never even used this. I never even used this. And the reason why, this is the, the minted Better Setter um, setting spray. The reason I didn't use it is because I absolutely fell in love with this. I'm gonna end up, I'm literally gonna end up buying a full size of this. Like I really did wear this. The only thing I don't really care too much for is the smell. It's really like, like initially, it's really like alcoholy. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but the smell is more like, I don't know, like chemical alcohol. Then it goes away, but that's the only thing that I wasn't fond of. But other than that, it kept my makeup on like all day. It just, you know, it didn't dry funky or leave any, you know, splotches or anything like that. I like this a whole lot. I'll be getting a full size of this like ASAP. And then you guys know this is like one of my favorite foundations. So I did wear this, um, I wanna say probably three days out of the week. And I was trying this new primer and I did try it with that foundation and it just didn't work out well because this um, primer, I'm not saying that the primer is radiant, um, but it is moisturizing, but it's not like a greasy feel. But because that foundation is so radiant and moisturizing, the two just didn't work well together to me. Like I literally felt like I got oily or I just looked greasy in a matter of like two hours. And that never really happens when I use like a more mattifying primer. So this, these two just didn't work well together. But ultimately I think this is a good primer because I ended up trying this with the, um, the Dior Forever Foundation. I really enjoyed this a lot. I wore this most of the time. I really enjoyed this a whole lot. And I think that that primer does very, very well underneath a matte foundation. I've come to the conclusion that I think that that is, you know, good for that. But not for something that's super radiant. And it depends on how oily your skin is also. But... So that was that for those. This um, that I pulled, I didn't even wear it. The Sephora, I didn't wear it. I'm gonna be honest, cause I got so amazed with this that I ended up just not even wearing this at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back. And I think I need to, I think I really need to go back on my spreadsheet and check the expiration date of this foundation. Only because it, it has separated inside the pump, but I don't know if 
Well, see, this is what this looks like right here. It's a really nice foundation, but because it's not moving in here, I just wonder why it is um, sticking the way that it is. So I have to go check my spread sheet just to be sure, because I thought I got everything, but just in case, <laughs> need to double check it. Um, and this right here, my favorite little Merit um, skin tone, my skin tone concealer that I usually wear like that. I didn't um, I didn't wear this at all. I use this just to have um, like my skin tone, but it feels so good on the skin, but I didn't wear this at all because I was wearing that Anastasia Beverly Hills and was really enjoying that. So I didn't wear that and believe it or not, I didn't wear this either because um, and that's this, um, the Juvia's Place Dark Bronzer. Didn't wear this either because I was so loving this mahogany bronzer that I did not wear this. This is a nice bronzer. I like this a lot. So these are in the blush. I wore, of course, every single day. I wore this every day, but I did not use this blush with it. like my initial thought was I didn't use this with it because I just really like this blush by itself this is just a nice blush this cream blush by LYS is just a nice blush on its own so I didn't want to set it with anything because it just looks so pretty on the skin so I didn't set it so of course I didn't use this blush um, I did use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer underneath um, the Estee Lauder Foundation for sure. Had to use that for that. And guys, I know I told y'all about this. <laughs> I didn't use this again, and I promised that I would use it. I don't know what it is. I don't, I mean, I don't think it's the color or anything. Let me see. I don't think it's the color or anything. I just think that, you know, let me see. I don't think it's the color or anything. I just, something about it. Now, it ain't even something about it. It's just that I just, I don't know. It's really fine though. It's really, really fine. Um, but I just don't, you know, use it. So I, I don't want to declutter it. I really don't. But if I don't use it eventually, I am going to do that. But I took this out to wear with um, this foundation and it really did look pretty. You gotta be careful though, because the first time I did it, I did too much and it made it look so matte that it jeopardized the finish of this foundation, which made it look like super matte, super dry. And I didn't like that at all. So the next day I just went in and did a light dusting of it. I just did a light dusting and it looked really pretty because it's still, my skin still showed through and you could still see the pretty finish of this foundation. So it was just a learning curve. I had never done it before, but I liked it. You know, you just gotta be light handed with it. And this powder, of course, I love this powder. This did so well under my eyes. This is the one size translucent. It did so well under my eyes. I was just super duper uber shocked. I just really, really like this a lot. I really do. I'm probably going to end up getting a full size of this too once I get, you know, to a certain level. Because these these little things will last for a long time because you only need a little bit. It's not like I do a full bake or anything. Now this right here, this is going to stay in my, this is going to stay in my vanity. It, this um, Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder, this is in the color um, Tan Rich. You know, I just got this and just trying it for the first time. This is definitely going to stay up in here. This, I'm telling you, I fell in love with this to the point where I ended up using this on this more, this foundation more than I ended up using that. But I really, I really like this. I really like this and I use this on on everything. I use it on this, 
on the, the Dior and I used it on this and I just love it. I only use a little teeny bit and it really does blur the pores. It really does do something to the pores. I don't know what it is, but the white one does it too. The translucent one, the actual white one, that does it too. But this one was really, really nice. And then in here, to be honest, I, I mean, I don't know whether this was the reason why I got such long wear out of the Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I did use this every day. But I can say I don't know that I noticed a huge difference, except that the Anastasia Beverly Hills wore really nice. So I don't know if it was because of this or what, because that's what I was really wearing most of the time. So I don't know whether this, I don't know. And this, I didn't even use because I was, you know, using the other primers. So I didn't even use the Mary Kay. So I'm going to leave this in. Um, and then I just have a couple of open mascaras in here that stay in here all the time. Um, these just stay in here all the time. I don't have many lashes, so I don't have much mascara either. So that's what's in there. Um, and this is the Chanel um, eye primer that I've been using that's almost gone. And this just stays in here too. I have only like maybe two more eyeshadow primers, but because I'm not really into that, you know, eyeshadow just huge. I only, you know, I don't have a lot. So this is what I have in here. And that, um, I pulled that Chanel concealer and I ended up putting it back. I didn't even use it. Like <laughs> I was so, you know, I was just that concealer rather. I was so smitten with this other concealer that I just didn't even use that. I didn't even use it. So this is what I pulled from last week. But of course I was dipping and dabbing into some other things, but I was so ready to change this out. So let's go ahead and change this out. Okay, so here we are in the foundation drawer again. So I'm going to pull, um, of course, I think I'm gonna pull two, I mean, a, you know, a strong medium, two strong mediums, like buildable to full. I'm gonna pull them and of course a light coverage and maybe something else, I'm not quite sure. I do have a couple new ones, but I don't wanna use them right away because I kinda wanna do a video showing you guys what those look like. So I'm going to go ahead and not use those this time. So what I think I, I was thinking about wearing is I think I'm going to go ahead and do this air flash again, the Dior. I want to try the new primer that I got to see if this works with that because that's an air, fresh, air flash primer as well. I'm going to go ahead and pull this and I'm also going to pull this Catrice, this drugstore. This is in... Um, this is in natural, uh, new, I'm sorry, neutral pecan. That's this one. And I think I'm gonna pull this. This is called True Skin. And this is a hydrating foundation. So I'm gonna pull this one. And then I'm going to pull something a little bit more light. I think what I want out of here is, you know what? I think I might wear this. Let me see. No, I'm not going to do this one yet. I think I'm going to pull this foundation um, just to kind of try to try and finish it up. I think it's about three months left, maybe four, that it's going to expire. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try and because, I mean, it, it has a nice dent in it. So I'm going to see if I can go ahead and finish this by at least the end of December. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out and then I'm going to use um, something a little bit more sheer and I think I'm going to use this um, CoverGirl Clean Fresh uh, foundation and this is in 620 Deep. This is a real nice pretty foundation on the skin. Looks really really natural. Um, it wears well. If you have really oily skin uh, you might want to use maybe a mattifier a uh, little bit. Not a whole lot but you might want to but I think this wears well on all skin types you know, especially if you're dry. So I think this is really, really nice if you, and it's affordable, of course, it's from the drugstore. So it's definitely something that you should try. And it actually, I feel like it is a nice 
strong dupe of, you know, this Sephora. And they're roughly around this, the cover girl's a little cheaper. But these two are very, very similar. And I love this Sephora. So I love that. So, but these are very, very similar in the way they wear. You know, this is a fairly newer one. I already went through one of those. But, um, so I think this is, that's it for the foundation. So I got a radiant one. I have a full coverage one. And the air flash is, um medium to full so or you know a strong medium i ain't gonna say full but it it you know it has a lot of good coverage so and then let's get a powder and a bronzer so i moved all my blushes out of here because i'm just like ODing on powders <laughs> so i moved those the blushes because i don't have many of those so i just moved those so um so there's a few in here but not like all of them and I don't know if I remember telling you guys that on my Gucci powder, it hard panned on me. I don't know why it did that, um, but it ended up hard panning. But the way you fix that, I fixed it. The way you fix that, if you can see how it hard panned, but then I fixed it. So you still have, um, it still comes off really, really nice now. So some of you might notice already, but if you take a piece of scotch tape, okay, and you just place it on top of the powder and rub the tape on top of the powder and then just pull the tape off wherever you have the hard pan, it's gonna, it's gonna take it off. Like you guys can see, I don't know if you can see it, but right around, right around the edges, you see where it still is a little bit of hard pan right around the edges. But that's fine because I don't need to go around there. But that's easy to fix. So you guys know I just got that Charlotte Tilbury in the number three. So I'm going to pull this. I already showed you guys what this looks like on the haul. But in case you didn't see the haul, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this um, for powder. One of the powders that I'm going to use. And then... Um, I'm going to save my Bobbi Brown and see, I put everything away now because everything that's worth everything, I already logged on my spreadsheet. So I was able to put it away. I couldn't put it away until I did that. So it just got put away. So I'm happy about that, but I don't want to wear this yet because I want to use this to go with the foundation. So I'm going to wait for the Bobbi Brown. I think I'm going to use this True Match powder. I'm going to take out the um, Fit Me. I think I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to keep... I'm going to take um, this Sephora powder out for the under eye. So one of these powders I may not use, or I may use a combination of all. But I'm going to take those four pressed powders and loose powders out. And then for bronzer... I think I'm going to put um, the Juvia's Place back in and really try and use this this time. And I'll use that as my only bronzer. I'll leave that. That way I know I can use it. <laughs> and if for some reason I don't like it, I will then pull another bronzer. But instead, I'm going to just keep that one in there for now. And a blush. I have a blush in here because I wanted to keep the LYS all together and this is fairly new this blush and this is so pretty I couldn't wait to use this so I'm gonna pull this out and I'm also going to pull out a, a draw a powder blush to see if I can put that on top all right so now this is um, the concealers I ended up buying one of those little lipstick things to put my concealers in. Um, for this blush, I'm going to um, pull this one. I'm gonna pull this one for if I wanna set that cream blush. And I'm also gonna pull the, um, see this is all the blushes I have guys. These are all, <laughs> all the ones that I have. And I'm gonna pull this Peach Please by Minted. This is what it's called. No, it's Peach for the Stars. 
I'm gonna pull this one to go over top of that. This has a little bit of shimmer, so I always am careful with this, but this does have a little bit of shimmer. I'm gonna pull that one out and this one, okay, to go over top of that cream one. If one of those doesn't work, I'm just gonna play around and see what happens. I may not end up using it, but just in case that blush is a little light, I won't do that. Now this drawer is, is a mess, y'all. So I'm still trying to work it out and uh, like where I'm gonna put everything. But so, because I didn't use that minted spray, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this. All right, I'm gonna use this to go with the, the other air flash. Um, this is a primer um, and setting spray, but it does say radiant mist. So I'm hoping that it's not too radiant, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try one of these new ones. I think I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna try the other one is in the, oh, see, I have a couple concealers that I didn't log yet. And so they're in the, in my office so that I can put them on a spray sheet. So until they're on the spray sheet, I can't put them away. But this one is, so I think I'm going to pull this one and try this one. I'm gonna use that one and then I'm going to pull this one. No, I know what I wanted to pull. I wanted to pull the um, L'Oreal Infallible. It doesn't wear like a cakey full coverage, but this is a really good full coverage. This is in the color 415, Honey 415. This is, I love this concealer. This concealer, if I didn't tell you, this concealer is in, um, girl, I ain't got my glasses on, so we already have a whole situation, but guess what? <laughs> okay, so this is the shade. It's in shade 40. Okay, so that's the shade of the JaVinci, and I'm gonna try that. And do I want one more? I think I may. Do I want one more? I think I might want one more. And I think I'm gonna pull this. Okay, I'm gonna pull this one, and this is in shade 4.5 in, and this is a little light, which is good though. It's just enough light because in the liquid foundation, I wear 4.5, but this is actually lighter than the foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one. And then I'm gonna pull a primer and another primer from down here. I'm gonna try this new primer that I got, this CoverGirl Simply Ageless. I'm gonna try this one, and then I'm gonna use this one for a mattifying primer, the one size. I'll use that. And then I'll usually just pull, I'll usually just pull um, lips and stuff like that as I go. And this palette, I think it's pretty. So I'm gonna take this palette out and then I'm gonna take this one and then I'm gonna try to play in this one. Okay, so I'm gonna try to play in that one. I'm gonna just put that back for now though because I can't fit that in my, my box. But that's what I am pulling. So let me put this in the my box. Right, guys this is my basket for the next two weeks well my box <laughs> for the next two weeks all right guys remember it all starts with the base you guys stay safe bye